Good evening, I'm Heather Holden, the Coordinator of Assessment and Virtual Education for Indian River County. I would like to welcome everyone here to our Indian River Virtual School Commencement Ceremony for the Class of 2022. I'd like to start by introducing our special guests that have joined us this evening. Um, we have Dr. Moore, Superintendent of Schools. The Honorable Jacqueline Rosario, School Board Member for District 2. We have the Honorable Vice Chair, Dr. Peggy Jones from District 3. Assistant Superintendent of Strategic Planning and Support Services, Ms. Pamela Dampier. And our Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Ronald Fagan. We appreciate you all taking the time out to join us in our special evening. And now, Dr. Moore is going to come up and say a congratulatory word to our Indian River Virtual School graduates. Good evening, graduates, and welcome to your very intimate graduation <laughs> ceremony. And the truth of the reality is this is a program that has really drastically increased in size. I think two years ago there was a total of about 40 students. So to have, how many graduates do we have total? We have nine, well, 11 graduates, nine are here. Nine or 11 graduates, nine of which are here, um, just speaks to how education has really changed over the course of the years. And if I was to ask you, when you guys were in elementary school, how many of you thought you would be graduating or doing school virtually? How many would think that was even a possibility? Apparently none of you did. <laughs> so your path's probably been a, a, a little bit different for, for whatever reason, whether it was because of the pandemic, because it was just fit, it was the right thing for you. Uh, regardless of those challenges, those obstacles, uh, you are here today because you've met the standards. You've done the work. Uh, the receiving of your diploma signifies that the state has set, sta set standards and you have done the work um, in order to demonstrate mastery of those standards. So it is an accomplishment. It is something that each and every single one of you had to put the work in to do in order to be here today. It's just not because you go to school for 12 years, throw in kindergarten 13, and then you get to come to graduation. You're only here because you've done the work. So this is a day in which you should feel a great level of success, pride, and a sense of accomplishment. That's the only way you got here. Um, and I hope as you would go through the day, you would take time to remember those who just supported you on, on that journey. So you think of uh, your parents or your guardians, the push, the extra encouragement, um, the discipline that they had to provide in order to ensure we're going to raise you in a way which ensures you have the opportunity to call yourself a graduate of this outstanding school district. And I hope you would remember uh, the experiences you've had over the last four years. And I know your experiences are your own story. You, you've had the opportunity really to do things in a very, very unique way over the last several years. And you did them and you did them with success. And as you have the opportunity to come in and receive your diploma, what's next? Where are you going and, and what you doing? And I would, I would hope and pray that this level of success doesn't stop right here. That each and every single one of you have taken the time to think through what's next in my life. Where am I going? The skills, the knowledge that I have obtained over the last 13 years is going to open up doors for you. What doors are they going to open up? Where are you going to do? And I hope you would know you are in fact prepared. You're ready to go. You've done the work. You, you did everything that needed to be done. So now is the time to put it to use. So whether it is college, vocational school, armed forces, whatever it would be, uh, I hope you attack it with the highest level of excitement and encouragement for not only what you have succeeded, but ultimately what you're going to succeed. So congratulations on, on making it this far. This is just the beginning. I know it feels like a long time coming, but the reality is in 15 and 20 years, you're going to look back on this day and say, wow, that was, seemed like it was 100 years ago. So uh, you have been invested in. So for your teachers uh, who have done the work and invested in you, go make them proud. For your parents who have invested in you, your families and friends who have invested in you, um, that's all responsibility on you. And we want you to go and do great things. So take that investment that we've all made in you, you've made in yourself, and go and do great things. Thank you very much and congratulations.
Thank you, Dr. Moore. At this point in time, I know that he talked about your parents supporting you and your hard work, but I think some of you might have gotten maybe a few phone calls or emails from the most amazing school counselor that Indian River County has to offer, Ms. Andrea Posner. Thank you. Except you just knocked off the recording, right. so we're going to put this one back on. We're just going to set it right there. Go ahead. Welcome, graduates, families, and honored guests. I am Andrea Cosner, the school counselor for Indian River Virtual School. Today, we celebrate our graduates and all of the work that you've done to get to this point. Um, we not only congratulate our graduates, but we also celebrate their families for all of the support and encouragement. At this time, if you are a parent or a guardian of one of our graduates, would you please stand so we can acknowledge all the support that you've offered? Thank you. <laughs> Class of 2022, remember your path is unique to you. No one will ever travel the exact same route or have the exact same experiences along the way. Be proud of who you are and what you've done to get to this point, but keep going. This is only the beginning of a lifetime of learning. Set your goals high and work towards those goals. And remember, the world is a better place simply because you are all in it. At this time, I have the honor of introducing our two highest performing students. First, um, our class salut salutatorian is Lacey Lobdell. <laughs> Lacey will be attending Indian River State College and majoring in dance and performing arts. She hopes to one day become a professional dancer and choreographer. And in her free time, Lacey teaches dance to younger students. She's also a member of the elite team at the Brooke Elise Dance Company. Congratulations, Lacey. <laughs> I'm gonna give that to you. <laughs> yeah, you're a little taller than this class. Good afternoon, parents, administrators, staff, and fellow graduates. I would like to welcome you all to the graduation ceremony of the graduating class of 2022. My name is Lacey Lobdell and I'm honored to be the salutatorian of the class of 2022. I always knew someday I was going to eventually graduate, but as a five-year-old kindergarten student who thought the first day of school was the only day of school, this day seems so far away. I also never thought I would be up here speaking as I am. I never liked speaking in front of an audience. Maybe it's because I didn't know what to say or didn't have a lot to say. But right now, as this 13-year-long journey is coming to an end, I think I've had enough time to gather my thoughts. School is not easy. Learning is not easy. I learned this when I first saw the word math. Math was never my favorite subject, nor was it my best subject. I remember when learning multiplication, we would have ice cream parties every Friday. So if you were able to multiply up to the eights, we would get four scoops of ice cream and four toppings. Yours truly got one scoop of ice cream and some sprinkles. <laughs> Let's just say I didn't like anything after the twos. And to make it worse on us, especially me, these tests were timed. So my lucky dad would go over and over these tests with me. By the end of grade three, I finally made it to my fives. I also finally got two scoops of ice cream, which in my eyes was pretty good. Meanwhile, my classmates were full on getting banana splits. Those were good times. <laughs> Nowadays, I don't mind math. I think I've started to like it more than English, which is surprising. But in all seriousness, I feel as though I've gotten a lot better in math. I think it is because as someone in virtual school, I can go at my own pace, go back to lessons, check over stuff I've done, and actually learn something. Some of you may think, oh, you do that all in a regular school. Well, no. In the last math class I had in a brick and mortar school, we literally finished a whole unit in a week. That's a less than a day, and for someone who felt that they were horrible at math and felt that they were thrown into Algebra one in middle school, I don't think it was the best for me. With this, I truly believe that becoming a virtual student has 100% helped me become a more well-rounded and educated person, while giving me the tools to help build my success and help me succeed in the future. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for making that decision. Growing up is scary. With so many decisions, choices, and paths, and every choice you make falls back on you. When I was younger, I wanted to become a veterinarian. As I got older and found out what vets really do and must do, I changed my mind quickly. Then I said, oh, I'll just be a lawyer. That seems like a common career choice. 
but law school seemed scary, especially to my dad's bank account. <laughs> so here I am today, getting ready to attend IRC and study dance and performing arts. Yes, 11 years ago, I fell in love with dance. I found dance to be my support system, a way to express myself beyond, wor in express myself beyond words. I also feel it has helped in a weird way with my education. Dance has kept me balanced physically and mentally. It has helped me keep productive, hardworking, and motivated me to want more. Achieving dreams may be difficult, challenging, and demanding, but I am willing to put everything I have to achieve my dream. Sure, here there have been a lot of times in dance and school where I felt, wow, this is a lot. And I felt so overwhelmed that I felt like quitting, but I realized that I was not alone. Much depends on me, but I also have my family. I know it's cliche as it sounds, but your family is there for you. So yes, growing up is scary, it's stressful, and yes, there may be the fear of disappointment, disappointing others, and disappointing ourselves. But I've always held myself to such a high standard that I was afraid to fail, and when I did fail, it hurt. I never gave myself room for error, for failure, or to make mistakes. But as I started to make mistakes, I learned from them, and it helped me grow as a person. I learned, I helped me learn things. This quote by Kim Nam Joon that I'm about to read helped me realize this. Maybe I made a mistake yesterday, but yesterday's me is still me. I might be, uh, but yesterday's me is still me. I am who I am today with all my faults. Tomorrow, I might be a tiny bit wiser, and that's me too. So let yourself make mistakes. Don't lower your standards, but don't let the fear of failure get in your way of reaching those standards. The last four years have been a journey. I have learned, I have grown, and most importantly, I have become the person I have wanted to be. In education, I have flourished with the knowledge that will help me on my long road to reach my dreams. Socially, well, here I am talking in front of all of you. I would have not been doing this four years ago. And personally, I have built confidence to be myself, to not be afraid of failure or mess ups, because those things are inevitable. The important thing is to keep going. I would like to thank my family for keeping me going. My poor dad for putting up with my math work and me crying at the kitchen table while he tried to explain quadratic functions. My mom for introducing dance to me, believing in my abilities, and having someone to talk to. My nanny for everything. Love you, nanny. My brother for making me laugh and for being my best friend. And my dog, Mia, for being my alarm clock at 7 o'clock in the morning. Thank you guys for being there for me and believing in me. I really do not think I could have done it without you. I would also like to thank Mrs. Cosner for giving me encouragement, believing in me, and holding the ceremony for our graduating class. On behalf of all my fellow classmates, we would like to thank you all for coming to our ceremony today and again, believing in all of us. To my fellow graduates, we did it. I wish you all luck in the future, happiness in your life, and most importantly, to believe in yourself. I will leave you all with this short quote. Good things come to those who believe, better things come to those who are patient, and the best things come to those who don't give up. Thank you all. Thank you, Lacey. At this time, did I do it again? Okay. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to introduce our valedictorian, Luke Angel. <laughs> Luke will be attending Florida Institute of Technology and majoring in aeronautical, aeronautical science with flight. He hopes to become a commercial air airline pilot and I know that there are several airlines right now that wish you were done. <laughs> Luke has received academic scholarships totaling $72,000, and we very, we're very, very proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> It is an honor to be here to represent the class of 2022. We would like to thank our teachers and staff for their hard work and for the tireless effort that, they, that was put in when our entire world changed during the COVID-19 pandemic. I would also like to thank our families for their everlasting love and support, especially in these trying times. As students, we have gone through unprecedented times of hardship in the past few years of school, with our entire country integrating some semblance of virtual school into the everyday lives of students. Even though the challenging times of online school have now come to an end for us, COVID-19 as a whole gave our generation something that I hope no other generation will ever have to experience. We should not forget the experience of being a student living through a pandemic. If the class of 2022 should be remembered for anything, it should be adaptation and resilience. 
Just the very fact that we are graduating should be a testament to that. Switching to online schooling was a challenge with different hardships. You could ask anyone and they would tell you that sitting in a classroom with a teacher and your peers discussing and explaining everything to you is easier than Zoom calls or pre-recorded lectures. The small conversations or tiny gestures of kindness were no longer something that happened. You had to work harder and find new ways to keep those relationships that we had made prior to COVID-19 strong. Being able to talk to someone face to face is one of the many joys in life. And we all know that relationships are key to good mental health. The everyday class to class interactions with our friends were something that the most of us probably took for granted and we no longer do. Then there was the virtual school schedule. I have to say that when my online school experience began, I was ecstatic that I could choose my own sleep schedule. But it only took a week or two to realize that my own standards were not exactly the greatest. You know. <laughs> this quickly made me realize that it was not sustainable. Workloads started piling up, due dates come and, you know, came and went, and stress increased. But in the end, the lack of sch scheduled structure in the beginning helped me become more responsible now. The great President Theodore Roosevelt once said, if you could kick the person in the pants responsible for most of your troubles, you wouldn't sit for a week. <laughs> I had to take that to heart when the pandemic hit. The responsibility became my own, and I had to make the choice to act like an adult and do things at a responsible hour. Doing things by your own decision is arguably the largest part of becoming an adult, being your own self. The responsibility to buckle down and get your work done will be much value of me in the future. No matter what you plan to do with your life, whether you plan to go to college, trade school, straight into the workforce, or some other career path, being able to have the self-motivation and determination to work hard is the essence of what we need to go for in life. We should remember that what we had to go through in our stride to get to this point and in our desire to make it in this world, and we should be proud to be here. Congratulations and best of luck to the class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. I would like to now ask the school board members and the superintendent to join us at this time to award our graduates their high school diplomas. And graduates, would you please rise and line up along the wall? Luke Christian Angel. Daniel Jonathan Arnold. <laughs> Ariana Chanel Atkins. Austin Knight. Lacey Lillian Lovedell. Kerrigan Ann McLaughlin. <laughs> Annika Denise Peterson.
Julian Serenity Ramirez. And Kylie Madison Rittenauer. Dr. Murr, would you please join us at the podium to confer the diplomas? Graduates, would you please stand? All right, congratulations, seniors. I'm going to tell you this. The, the roll call for 10, 11 graduates is much better than the five or 600 we had to go through at Tavira Vero Beach and, and Sebastian River. Uh, it allows us to get right to the point. So. With the turning of the tassels, we will declare you graduates. And what we will do is we will count down and we will move our tassels. Um, so with the authority that is provided uh, to me through the state of Florida and our school board, uh, we declare that you have met all of the standards required to call yourself graduate. So at the turning of your tassels on the count of three, you can now and forevermore call yourself a graduate. One, two, three, congratulations, graduates.